It used to be pepperoni and pineapples, but then I stopped eating pork, but I still love pineapple on my pizza. So now I just do it with chicken. <laughs> tissue, I have tissue. Secret party trick. Hmm. Margaritas. I don't make them, I, I drink them though. I drink them really well. Depending on whose, whose party it is, I, I am known to become the, the impromptu DJ. I'm known to, to switch up the music and really get it going. A double decker something, like a lot of meat. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, I'd probably just be like a club sandwich. Sounds, yeah, cool and classic. <laughs> Fingers hmm. as long. His arms. I feel like there's more, it's still awkward, but more that you could possibly accomplish. Yeah, yeah, maybe the same. I don't really watch reality TV, honestly. I don't either. Yeah. How do you get a Canadian to say sorry? Punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I got. <laughs> Probably something to my mom. She was wondering why we haven't been communicating. It's because we're like, the time difference is crazy different mm -hmm. from here in Toronto, so I just had to let her know, like, ma, in London, I'll hit you back when you're awake. Um, probably my publicist telling her what I wanted for lunch. <laughs> I usually just do like a like a peace, like a peace sign, like it just, you know what I'm saying? Like, am I something? Finding, mm, something serious. I always serve face in selfies. I rarely smile in selfies. <laughs> Brandy's Cinderella is what popped in my head. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Cinderella, classic, for sure. We didn't really have a whole ton of time to rehearse. Um, you know, it, it comes with like having a small budget in New York, so we pretty much just had to hit the ground running. Um, mm -hmm. You know, do our work beforehand, understand that this film, um, you know, was riding on, on, you know, the love between Tish and Fani and making sure that that was believable. They, I think, took three scenes from the script um, that we were working on. And ultimately, it honestly just felt like a, a rehearsal. You know, we would do the scene one way and then Barry, you know, would give us direction. Um, and we were just playing with each other, like, you know, just listening and receiving and, yeah. And I don't know how chemistry is gauged necessarily, but like, I feel good about it and <laughs> guess it was all right. I learned so much about being confident on a film set, yeah. Um, just really, you know, owning the the space of like I'm I'm here. I have a right to be here, and I got some work to do. <laughs> uh, I think my favorite thing about working with Kiki was just like, you know, just her energy. She had this like raw energy that you don't really get to see in actors or actresses who have been around for a little while. So I appreciated that. Definitely have their awkward quality to it. Um, but I think what's was special about this film and, and Barry's direction is that it's not even, like it's not even a, a sex scene, like it's it's a love scene. It's just the, they are taking this next step in expressing how much they love each other. And what's wonderful about Barry is that he allowed that moment to take its time. It wasn't rushed and it gave us time to, you know, really keep checking in with each other, you know, as Tish and Fani, but then also as Kiki and Stefan, like, okay, now we're doing this and, Gonna keep on going. Definitely when the, the family was together, like if, it, if if Coleman was there, if Coleman was on set, we, we definitely were having a good time. <laughs>